No, this isn't an alcohol-related hallucination. It's an art display in Liverpool, the 2008 European capital of culture. The city is hosting a year-long festival. There's also a showcase for Liverpudlian businesses. One company trying to make the most of the opportunity is Keynes, the local brewery. It makes the official beer for the Capital of Culture celebrations. The sponsorship deal reflects the ambition of the two brothers who own Keynes, Sudagra and Ajmel Dusanj. They have worked hard to stabilise a once fragile business. Now they have their eye on the next phase of development, making Keynes into a national beer brand. So Capital Culture was a big part, playing our part in the local community, but at the same time giving us a springboard for Keynes to say, we're from Liverpool instead of we're based in Liverpool. In the hope of cracking the national market, the Dusanj brothers have created a lager called Keynes Finest. It's an unusual move for a regional brewer. Normally, they concentrate on traditional ales and leave the fizzy stuff to the multinationals. In the UK, the lager market is 70% and above, and it's growing year on year. Uh, the ale market is declining, unfortunately, but, um, and we decided, you know, why not join the lager market? Why not get a beer in there? Uh, a lager, which we can uh, take some of the share of that. You know, one or two percent of that would be fantastic. But when we talked to our brewers, they said, you know, if we're going to do it, let's do it proper. A longer, longer mature maturation process, finest ingredients which you can get out there. And, and we draw our own water from beneath the brewery. Yeah, and, and I think um, with the regional brewers model, which they've always concentrated very much on, on ale, but when Ajma and I, we grew up, we drank lagers, you know, and, 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 and I'm sure, you know, guys would be emotionally linked, not just guys, but people would be emotionally linked to their local brewery offering a beer which they like. But what we're, we're trying to do is bring a craft brewing package right across the board and saying, look, you, th- this is what we're really famous for, Cane's Ales, but let's do a lager which will be that famous and that good and actually take on the big guys who've gone down this sort of bland, mass-produced lagers, but batch, batch brewing flavours and beers. And, and, I, and I do think that's, that's where we need to take the brewery as a whole. Yeah. Keynes brews its beer in a huge Victorian building near Liverpool's city centre. But on the national stage, Keynes as a business is tiny. The British beer industry is dominated by a handful of foreign brewers with colossal marketing budgets. Keynes is in no position to even come close to their spending on advertising. They'll be spending 50 million and we'll be spending 50,000. So we're completely in two different arenas. But by concentrating being a local brewer, giving provenance, working on heritage and tradition, it's a different angle, you know. So um, product placement has been very important. Just getting the product in front of people, saying, look, just taste it, and then you make your own mind up. And that, that has really worked for us. With its limited resources, Keynes has sought to project an arty image for its flagship lager. It has a distribution deal with the Tate Museum Network. It also got Sir Peter Blake to design a bottle label. He's better known as the artist who created the Sgt Pepper album cover. Liverpool evokes plenty of positive qualities that could be exploited in Keynes's marketing. There is the city's connection with the Beatles, of course. Liverpool also remains synonymous with football although it seems that another brewer got here first. But the city also suffers from negative stereotypes. In spite of all the yuppie flats springing up on the waterfront, it is still sometimes viewed as poor and rough. From the last 30 years, it's been a pretty tough, pretty tough place. You know, the unemployment was very, very high. Lots of jobs had gone, had gone out of the city and people had left the city, but now... It's, re- it's reversing, you know, first time population's going up and the investment in Liverpool has been superb. Good or bad, it's like every city in the world. You know, it's a major city. With that, you, you do have cycles and that's what, it, you know, luckily for us now at the moment, is coming out of it. The capital of culture celebrations have undoubtedly been a major marketing opportunity for Keynes. But Liverpool has only a few months left in the European spotlight. Now, the challenge for the company is to ensure that it carries this momentum through into 2009 and beyond.